Jai Gurudev, you mentioned resilience and joy. Can you elaborate on how chanting this hymn of Agri Nandini can influence our emotional well-being? Absolutely, chanting Agri Nandini creates a vibration that can elevate our mood and bring a sense of peace. The rhythmic repetition can be meditative, helping to quiet the mind and release stress. This practice can foster a deeper connection with ourselves, promoting emotional healing and a sense of empowerment. That sounds powerful. How can this hymn help? In cultivating community spirit. When we chant together, we create a collective energy that strengthens bonds within the community. It fosters unity and shared purpose. Agri Nandini celebrates the divine feminine, encouraging us to support one another and uplift each other in our journeys. Organizing group chants can be a beautiful way to connect and inspire collective growth. What role does the imagery in the hymn play in spiritual practice? The imagery is rich and multifaceted. Each depiction of Durga whether as a destroyer of demons or the nurturer of the three worlds, offers lessons for our lives. Visualizing her in those forms can help us understand the different aspects of our own personalities and experiences. It teaches us to embrace both our nurturing and fear sides, allowing for a balanced approach to challenges. You also mentioned mindfulness earlier. How does practicing mindfulness complement the teachings of the sim? Mindfulness enhances our ability to be present and aware. When we practice mindfulness alongside chanting, we deepen our connection to the words and their meanings. It encourages us to reflect on our intentions and actions, aligning them with the qualities we seek to embody from Durga, such as courage, compassion and clarity. This alignment enriches our spiritual practice and daily interactions. Are there specific rituals or practices you recommend incorporating with the chant? Yes, integrating rituals can amplify the experience. Creating a sacred space for chanting, lighting a candle or offering flowers can help set the mood. You might also consider journaling your reflections before and after chanting, noting any insights or feelings that arise. This practice can deepen your understanding and connection to the hymn's teachings. As you explore the power of this hymn, what advice would you give to those just starting their spiritual journey? Start small and be gentle with yourself. Incorporate a chant into your daily routine, even if it is just a few minutes each day. Allow the words to resonate within you without any pressure to achieve a specific outcome. Trust that every step you take on this journey contributes to your growth. Surround yourself with supportive communities and resources to enhance your experience. Finally, how does the hymn reflect the broader cultural significance of Mother Durga in society today? Mother Durga symbolizes empowerment and triumph of good over evil. In today's context, she serves as a beacon of hope and resilience, especially for women. The hymn says emphasis on strength and nurturing reminds us of the importance of balance in society as we face contemporary challenges invoking her energy can inspire us to take courageous actions and toward positive change both within ourselves and in the world around us thank you for sharing such profound insights it's been a pleasure discussing the depth of agri nandini with you thank you for the opportunity may the blessings and the teachings of this hymn inspire and uplift everyone who encounters it Jai Gurudev.